Okay, so let me kind of fill you in on everything. So we're back in St. Market. We're not in St. Marcus. We're back in New Braunfels. Um, my dad and Blaine left about 30 minutes ago. I was going to vlog while we were at Six Flags last night, but like they have huge signs all over the place that says if you're caught with a camera on a ride, um, we will eject you from the park, no refunds. And I'm like, well, that's $150 I don't want to lose. So if you're wondering what happened, it was a little bit like this. No, there's a drop ahead. <laughs> oh, 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 then we went back to the hotel and crashed. I think I was asleep by like 10.30. Robert said he was up for another hour after I was, and we didn't wake up till like eight o'clock. No, probably seven o'clock, but that's sleeping in because even on weekends I wake up at 6.30 or seven. It's kind of a curse. He can sleep in, but um, so we got up, we went to breakfast at Denny's for my dad's uh, like Father's Day breakfast, and then they dropped us off and then now, of course, in true fashion, I've got stuff to do to get ready for the week. So if you're following Meals in the Making, which is just a bunch of meal prepping for lean and green meals on Optavia, um, it's also really good even if you're not on Optavia, just a whole bunch of really clean, healthy meals. Uh, I'm doing pizza this week, so I'm going to get some stuff for that. I'm not actually gonna meal prep today like I typically do because they're pretty much meal prepped. I'll just make them the day of, but I'm going to get stuff for that. I'm going to go exchange my bathing suit because my dad brought me the receipt for that, so we'll see. I also have to go to Target because I would like to look for a shoe organizer to put all of my extra fuelings in for this month. Um, one of my dad's friends gave me her box because she just didn't enjoy the program. So um, I'm gonna put all of my extra ones in there. And then I'm going to Bath and Body Works because my best friend Leslie and her son Zach um, gave me a birthday card on Monday for a Bath and Body Works gift card. So I'm gonna go buy some nice smelly things for the house. Okay, so for everybody on program, if you're missing Alfredo sauce, this classical light Alfredo is actually on program and you can have it. So that's what I'm gonna use for one of my pizza recipes this week. I'm actually going to be doing some pretty awesome ones. Chicken Alfredo pizza and then also um, a barbecue chicken and ranch pizza, so. And then of course we've gotta get Robbie his snacks. Now he wants goldfish. Oh my gosh, does Target not carry goldfish he's gonna have a fit so i told him i wasn't gonna go to there's goldfish down there i guess i'm gonna have to try this 20 packs on the go he's gonna eat them at work whenever he gets a little hungry so hopefully that'll be good right and this is the part of the shopping trip where i start to go crazy because i just love like decorating my house and making my house a little bit better in any way that i can so i'm looking for a shoe organizer but of course i had to come down this aisle how cute are those? Okay, so here's an over the door organizer. Um, and it's got 15 pockets, 10 pairs of shoes, blah, blah, blah. But the cool part is it's not the size of an actual door, which is good because I have a really skinny pantry. So I think this one's gonna work. The only thing is it's kind of a teal color, but it's gonna be in our pantry, so who cares, right? Okay, so I'm at JCPenney's. Now is uh, part two from last week. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll know that I came to JCPenney to try and exchange a bathing suit that I got for my birthday, but because I didn't have the receipt, they were only gonna give me $5 for it, for each piece. I was gonna get about $10 for this bathing suit, which originally is like, I don't know, 30 something, who knows. So my mom gave the receipt to my dad. So now I'm gonna go and try and return it and see if they'll let me get a new one. Personally, I'm a little ticked. I'd rather not spend my money here just because I kind of don't really have a good taste in my mouth from JCPenney. Go watch last week's video. You'll, you'll understand why. But um, we'll see what I can get. If they give me my money back. That's fine. Or my mom's money back. That's fine. But um, if I have to exchange it here, then I'll exchange it here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm not going to show you them on because that would be kind of awkward. But... Um, I got a couple of things, so I'm gonna show them to you. And I'm just trying on styles. I am still getting used to this new body of mine and it's still a work in progress, so let me just show you. All of my bottoms that I got are high-waisted. So there's a blue, just because I was trying to find a high-waisted one. And then I found these that are really high-waisted and these are the ones that I love because it looks like they have like a control top kind of thing. So um, I just got two sizes of those to see which one. 
And this is like a halter. And then it has like a little thing that comes down, but not completely. I don't know. Trying it out. Probably not going to like it. Trying it out though. And then I got a tankini here. This is just a cute tankini that I found. But there really isn't much selection. So we'll see what I, what I like. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to show it. But I am going to show it. I'm a little proud. It's a two-piece. Um, and I don't think I look half bad in it. So it's a cute little halter. I really didn't think I was going to like this one. But I really actually love it. So I'm going to go try and exchange this one. Or the one that I have for this one. Well, I think JCPenney may have redeemed themselves. Not only did I find my new swimsuit there, um, it was cheaper than the first, than what my mom got me. So I got like almost $15 back on a card. I don't know what I would get, but. So I'm leaving with my new swimsuit that's a two piece. I mean, it's not a bikini, but it's also not a tankini. So I'm pretty happy with it. I will be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm heading to Bath and Body Works so that I can grab some good smelling stuff for my house. Robert's pretty picky though, so it's gonna be a little difficult. Um, I had one on the other day and he was like, can you please turn that off? I love you, but please turn it off like, cause I had it in the Cincy. He's like, it smells like what the girls would douse themselves with after marching band. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'll turn it off. So I'm gonna find something subtle, but that I like too. Oh my gosh, y'all. There's a sign that every woman loves to see on a Bath and Body Works store. 75% off select body care. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love this packaging. Happy vibes. Actually smells pretty good too. Let's see. Mm, maybe. So I'm not a big coconut eater fan, but I actually really love like the smell of coconut. And this one is a little coconut sunset. Mm, it's okay. Yeah, actually, I do kind of like that. Hmm. Honolulu Sun. What does this smell like? Pretty good. I like this one a lot. How much is this? I think these may be $5 today. Maybe? I don't know. Um, one thing that's also really cool is they put out like coffee beans for you to smell, so it like um, neutralizes your palate. This one's mango, and I love mango. Yeah, that one's good too. Oh, that smells so good. I need to get a basket. Mmm, that one smells good. This was the absolute best day to come. No joke. Oh look, see, this is what I was talking about. They have these little coffee beans so that you can refresh your senses. That was a major score. I'm gonna have to give you a little haul. But first I gotta turn the car on because it's Texas and it's probably like 98 degrees or something. I can tell you in just a second. 93 degrees, so it's five degrees off, but it feels like it's 117. Anyway, so, oh my gosh. For 46.14, I ended up getting so much stuff because if you've ever been to Bath and Body Works, I mean, things can get pretty expensive pretty fast. Ugh. Anyway, things can get pretty expensive pretty fast. So, um, and the girl that checked me out, her name was Mallory, and she was looking at my hat, and she goes, what's your middle name? And I was like, Kate. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. Anyway, so first, for the car, I got one of those little smelly things because, I don't know, I just feel like it's always good to have your car smelling good. Especially if you have people who ride in your car all the time, which, I mean, typically it's just me on the way to work, but sometimes Leslie, Cassie, and I go to lunch, and then I don't want my car stinking, so. I got the smell Sweet Pea. This was originally $7.50, and it was on sale for $6.07, or it came out to $6.07, and then the Sweet Pea was originally $3.50, and it came out to $2.84. So everything I bought today was on sale. And then I got the, I got coconut and ginger um, foaming hand wash. I love the smell of coconut, but it can be a lot and really warm, especially in the summertime when you're like hot. I don't know, just that's weird. But anyway, the ginger really offsets it and gives it a really nice summer smell. So this was originally $6.50 and I got it for $3.25. 
The next thing I got was a coconut milk body scrub. It's a medium exfoliator. I really desperately need to exfoliate my body because I don't know, I just feel like it's pretty important to do and I don't do it enough. So most of the time I just use turbinado sugar, that really like raw sugar, but I figured this would smell pretty nice. So this was regularly $14.50 and I got it for $5.88. There's all kinds of goodies in here, you guys. This is the At The Beach Super Soft Body Butter for over 24 hours of moisture. It also has a little bit of a bronzer in it and um, it's really sparkly, so I figured that would be really fun. Especially since we're in the summertime and it, so it takes a lot for me to tan. So this was, let me show you it. Very pretty, I hope that it focused. I hope that the camera's even on because I can't even pull up the, the viewfinder, so I'm hoping that it's going. If not, I'm gonna cry. This was originally 16.50 and I got it on sale for $3.33. This was part of the 75% off. They're having their semi-annual sale and so everything is like crazy discounted. Um, then I also got the At The Beach Sea Salt Hair Mist because I've been starting to wear my hair in curls again, just like beach curls, and this gives it a little bit of texture and a little bit of volume, which is good because I have none. So this was originally $16.50, and this may not have been on sale. Oh, it was on sale. It was on sale for $13.36, so there was a little bit of a discount there, but not much. And then the last thing that I got, it's kind of for Robert. I told y'all he's very particular when it comes to smell, but he loves peach. So this is the Peach Bellini Bath and Body Works Scented Candle. This um, is one of my favorites and I know that he'll like it too because he loves peaches. So this one was originally $22.50 and I got it for $12. So I would say today's shopping trip was so successful. So I'm gonna go home and I think Robert has something cooked up that he wants to do. Based on what I'm wearing, I bet you could guess exactly what Robbie has cooked up for us. The other day at the store, he got water balloons like we've been doing and also these little water guns. So he wants to have a water balloon and a water gun fight. And of course, I'm not gonna say no. So let me go see if I can get y'all set up outside where y'all can see exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> is like the ones you see in those videos where they love water. <laughs> Shotzi's like, get out of my way. Shotzi doesn't really love water, so. <laughs> okay, he's gonna choke, babe. Turn it off. So now that we're sopping wet and smelling sunscreen, we each have to take showers and then get ready because we're going to dinner with Robbie's dad for Father's Day. We had breakfast with my dad. We're gonna have dinner with Robbie's parents for Father's Day. So we gotta end out this day on a great note. Man, this little stand, so nice. Loving this camera, loving the little tripod, love it. Anyway, done the makeup, or I had to redo the makeup because it was just everywhere. So I'm gonna do my hair really fast and I think I'm gonna use that new beach spray mist in my hair and see how it turns out. Look at that volume, wow. It is a lot of volume, so it smells pretty good too. It smells like coconut and like, it's called at the beach, so it's supposed to be like coconut and I don't know, beachy smells. So I forgot my camera to dinner, what's new? But we came back and I just happened to mention, or we happened to mention that our water, we can't get the water hot or cold in our washer. So, oh thank you. So Corky and Martha helped us figure out the valves on the wall were swapped. So Robbie's finishing that or fixing that with the help of Corky. And so he said, this is a good father-son activity on Father's Day that we should be- It's Father's Day. We should be filming for Mallory in the making. And I went, oh my gosh, you're right. So. <laughs> I think so. And that was right. an editorial comment. Folks, don't try this at home. We are not trained, we are not professional. <laughs> Do I look like a plumber? <laughs>
Yeah, that's cold water. Um, can you, you help us turn the hot water heater, hot water down? Oh, sure. we continue this. <laughs> the fun continues. The fun continues. I mean, while we haven't broken anything, we might as well continue. You're on a roll, you're on a roll. This dog wants to go outside so badly because the ball, they were playing with the tennis ball outside and it went underneath the neighbor's fence. Unfortunately, she is small enough. Oh, what a beautiful shade it is out here. She's small enough to get under there, so I have to watch her to make sure she doesn't do that. Shiner, on the other hand, who knows what he's doing? Go to the potty. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? It's honestly probably gone because the two dogs next door may have had it, which is fine. They can have it. Shatsala. There she is. She knows what she's doing. She thinks she needs to go over there and get it. Let's see how far she can get it before I catch her. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you later, y'all. Be careful, Texas, when you get there. All right. Okay, so I think it's time to end. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is a little bit more difficult with this camera. I think it's time to end this vlog so that I can go start editing and we can get ready for the Monday that's coming up, unfortunately. But I'm excited. He's excited. I could be a little more excited than I am. But this is the part of the vlog where we say goodnight. Say goodnight, Robbie. Good night, Robbie. We love you all and God bless you.